Welcome back to another episode of Cactus Court Plays. Phoenix Wright is attorney. My name is Bobby. I'm Kev Andre. And last time, shit happened. Please forgive the ominous humming in the background if you hear it at all. Um, we don't know what it is, but... Yeah, our downstairs neighbors moved out, and they've been, like, redoing the floors and a whole bunch of other stuff. There's been a lot of hammering, and now there's random humming. <laughs> so, yeah, that's probably exactly what it is. It's just ominous humming that was accidentally created by the construction types. Yeah, I don't know if they, like, have, like, a dryer thing down there trying to, like, dry the floors out where they had to re-glue on that, like, final shit where they're replacing the carpet, because I saw they were doing that. Yeah, but it went all night. Yeah. They would just leave it plugged in yeah, until maybe. it's done. They'd be like, here, leave that in over the weekend. We'll come back and it'll be done. Maybe that's it. It's been super annoying. Anyways, last time on Phoenix Right, what did we do? We uh, played with the Spritzy Spritzy. We made fun of Gumshoe a lot. That's right. Um, that was fun. And then we, we came back here to talk to Edgeworth because his ID number also went into the evidence room. Like right at the same time. That's yeah. right. Okay, so hey, how's it going? What you got? Inquiry committee. So, how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes. Apparently there are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time, again. Again? I've never- I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Yeah, of course. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prostituting attorney. However... Something happened. They gave control of the investigation over to the police department. The police department? You can't trust them. They're incompetent fools. I agree. <gasps> yes. Any and further investigation for this case will be handled by the chief of police, Gant. I can do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why, I ask you. Why? Well, because you're kind of a dick, Edgy. All along, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still, not today. <laughs> wow, I've never seen him this out of sorts. Also, last time I noticed um, that the his flower pot in the background has his little ruffle. Yeah, um, super weird. It, it's really fucking funny. <laughs> but I believe we need to present uh, this. Oh, right. I better check this now. As I was saying, I... Er, what's this? A record of ID card usage? Edgeworth, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's right. But why, Mr. Edgeworth? Please don't look at me like that. You're 16. I was asked to go <laughs> by Chief Kent, no less. The chief of police? He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. He told me he wanted me to keep it in the prostitutor's office. But it was solved, right? It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. Oh? It really has nothing to do with the current case. Now I'm curious about this other case. I'd better make a note of it. Yes, I recall when the corpse of the case that we were handling was also a corpse in a different case, and that wasn't related to this case. Right. So these people are fucking stupid. Yeah, and nothing's related to this case whatsoever except everything that we look at. Mm-hmm. So, evidence from a past case of Edwards, brought back to his office by Gant's request. It's a screwdriver. Stubborn as always. I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. That's nice. Hey, do you know what this is? Right, please. I'm the prostitutor on this case. You don't expect me to sit here and discuss the case with you over a cup of tea. I'll pass on the tea. Just tell me about the case. Mr. Wright, Mr. Edgeworth just told you no in a very polite manner. 
whose side are you on, anyway? She's part of the Edgeworth fangirl group. Maybe if I just show my best evidence, I can get some reaction out of them. Let's oh. see, what else we got? Yeah, we got the rubber glove. Can we get him to talk about the old case somehow? Maybe. With the screwdriver? Let's check this out, see if there's anything... Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, that one, or the two-year-old one. Yeah, this tag says AI-16. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing, apparently. At least, that's what Edgeworth said. Hmm, that makes it seem all the more suspicious. I agree. Who knows, this might turn out to be the clue that breaks the case. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm sorry. Wouldn't I think that the, be nice? I think the A stands for AM, because I am 16. <laughs> <laughs> am I 16? Who knows? And then... <laughs> That's a dangerous thing to say. <laughs> yeah, you, you I don't, might I don't want to watch yourself care there. for that. Alright, so, nothing about that. Uh, to do evidence locker that don't matter. Nothing there. Dated 221. Hmm. We just start spraying Edgeworth with the spritzy spritzy. Yeah, that'd be great. Hey, what do you know about this? Yeah. Yeah. Right. We just gotta go through some items. We'll figure it out. Don't you worry. Just stab him with the switchblade. Yeah, it's no big deal. Hey, have you seen this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess he has seen that. Okay, that's no big deal. Hey, what the fuck is this about? Damn it! It's not even with the case! Don't be an asshole! Have you seen my attorney's badge? Really? Yeah, he doesn't even want to talk about that. Uh, okay. So, it, it, it's no. his, it is his own puckered asshole, after all. Yeah. Uh, the only other thing that I think we have would be the knife. Yeah. Shank him. I know you. You've probably got a hold of some information already, right? It all has to do with that case you were on, the SL9 incident. And some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You are the man who revived the worst memory of my life. Because you shot a guy. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he just yoked the fucking gun. He didn't do anything else. Uh, shot a guy. <laughs> I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. Hey, look, I remember that. Oh, my. He must be talking about his father's murder in that elevator. Okay, Edgeworth. Why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Oh, he's uh, probably got an extra talk. Okay, this. there we go. Uh, allegations of forgery. The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. Of course. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time. Damon Gant. His name's Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> that wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago, too, then. He was a top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Some tops scare me. Wow, you get nervous, too, Mr. Edgeworth? What I want to know is, why was a deputy chief of police on the investigation? In truth, I use slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict, and the kilter, the kilter was executed. Fucking Scotsman. Wait, you didn't. <laughs> I made myself cackle, I'm sorry. He was the kilter. Yes. He was the Scotsman. As if a person who wears a kilt. Yes, okay, I yes. got you. It is a humorous... We just executed some random Scott that we found. He wasn't a great Scott. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. All that dead air of me just staring at you. It's man. worth it. It's comedic gold, and you know it. Is it? Is comedic, it comedic gold? gold. We're slapping your microphone again over? Yes. Okay. I agree. If Foggy's not here to do it, someone has to. Yeah, he's asleep on his little perch. So he's busy. He don't give a shit. Anyways... Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. Dumb fucking puns, I swear to God. Dude, <laughs> that me. <What> fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Me, me, me. Excuse me. her. Me. Excuse me, princess. Hold on. Let me, let me catch my own fucking breath here. Oh, yeah? 
Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code and I follow it faithfully. By the way, Emma, the chief prostitutor wanted to know something. Where'd you get that spritzy spritzy? My, my sister? What? If you were still studying forensic science. Huh? It, yes, of course. Why, just today, Mr. Wright and I were using this spritzy spritzy. Spritzy spritzy testing fluid, hmm? Well then, you might have use for this. Oh, it's fingerprint dusting. Aluminium powder for taking fingerprints. That's not what it said. That's what I said. That's not what it said. It's not aluminium. All right, there's me down here in Australia. I'm getting the aluminium powder for taking fingerprints to find out who lit these fucking fires. <laughs> All right. I found a random cigarette. I'm going to blame this guy. <laughs> that, <laughs> <It's> whoever. <laughs> that fucking kilter. <laughs> yeah, there's a fucking Scotsman came down here and blazed up a fucking J. And then went on back to the fucking islands. This piece of shit. <laughs> it's been chemically treated for better adhesion. Just like my dick. But for me, are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth. I'm really... No need to thank me. I already know you're turned on. I wasn't gonna thank you. But I was just two bottoms say. don't work together, right? Well... If you got a double-ended dildo, then two bottoms smash it. Never mind. I suppose it works, then. Yeah, I've seen it in a movie. Get the 16-year-old out of here. <laughs> here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. Leave the spritzy spritzy. It makes for some good lube. Uh, no, it would not. Anyways, I, uh, thanks. How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? Anyways, fingerprinting sent and fingerprint file received. Uh, did well, that's you... a heavy-handed oh. hint. Yeah. Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. Heavy-handed hint. See, it was an unintentional pun, but as soon as I said it, I was like, mm. Hey, heavy-handed hint, I'm gonna fucking kill her. Yeah, bullshit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> You're gonna keep going back to the kilter. He's very <laughs> off-kilter about that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. Oh, I remember. That was, are we talking about the one on the little bitty robot dude, or the weird one inside the evidence locker? In the evidence locker. Okay. Because that's where Gumshoe was anyway. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. Kill two birds with one, uh, kilt. Yes, but back into the underground parking lot. And then... Not there. Not there. I know a lad Here. who wears a kilt. Don't. 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 <laughs> but I want it. Don't. Why? Oh! I guess we could do that one. Yeah. If we if we do the aluminium. Is there a way to... Uh, uh, how do I use it? That's nice. How do I use it? Maybe we have to examine the thing first. The blue badger is still writhing around today. That's nice. It's adorable. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's dancing. Speaking of dancing, the whole police department has been dancing around like crazy since yesterday. That's nice. Can I take out his batteries? I just can't help but feel he's going to do something naughty. Yeah. You know how they are at that age. Okay, I guess we can't yet, but I'm willing to bet we're going to come back yeah, to that once we Yeah, once we unlock the ability to use it, we can come back and do that. Yeah. So, do 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 move does he, does he count as a robot sure why not looks like uh mccree's gone yeah probably anyways february 28th or Third. 23rd sorry i'm lifting my glasses up because i got something in my eye and it really looked like eight it's a dagger to let you know how fucking horrible my eyesight is the he screen was is about two feet away and i can't see it he was staring daggers at me yesterday and one got caught in there and now it's just really stuck yeah i don't remember why he was no it was because we were talking about halo yeah and i said that two was the worst of the trilogy which i've already reversed reversed my uh decision on because i've been playing through combat evolved <laughs> and man <laughs> some parts of that game make me mad yeah, like there was this door that kept on. That's my open, fault. 
And he was like, oh, this fucking level design sucks so bad. Oh, I don't get it. It It's just because I didn't press the button. Yeah, the very obvious button right next to the door that's fucking glowing. He didn't push it. I have a legitimate criticism now, though. Oh, yeah? We we, we did a level, right? And I I met up with uh, 343 Guilty Spark at the very end of the level. And I had the assault rifle. Yeah. And then you go into what they call the library, where there's just a fuck ton of flood everywhere. Yep. And it changes your weapons. Yes. To a shotgun and a pistol. Because you need the shotgun for the flood. Then let me keep the AR and the shotgun. No. And also, you don't need the shotgun for the flood. You can just kill them with the AR. Well, it's it's much more difficult to kill the flood with like click 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 rather than. Grrr. It's a pain in the asshole, and I wish they wouldn't do that. And then Guilty Spark made fun of me for bringing the wrong weapons, and I'm like, it's not my fucking fault, on, idiot. On Baca? easy, on easy and normal mode, the flood are just whatever. Sure. If you're playing on Legendary mode, though, that shotgun for the Flood is amazing. I believe that. It's just about the only thing that works. But who cares about the pistol? Let me yeah. keep the AR and the shotgun. I don't know, man. That pistol pretty OP. Can be, but it's not good against numbers. No. Anyways, so we're here. So, our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint on the Blue Badger outside, but I have to do this first for some fucking reason. Here, here in this blood, on the detective's evidence locker. <laughs> didn't work very well. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. A dagger. Oh, okay. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. Middle, of course. A finger. Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's check the finger that we'll have left behind the clearest print. So the thumb. Or the index finger. Either one of those should be fine. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Quit procrastinating and choose a finger. This one. That's not a thing a finger, you dummy. It is so. Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. First we sprinkle the aluminium powder around. Huh? How do you do that? With the A button. See? It's <laughs> cocaine. Yeah. Crack cocaine. We need to get two more dollars so that we can buy the cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> Tune in to our new series, Monster Prom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, it looks like that did the trick. The aluminium powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. That seems like a poor choice. No, that's pretty much how you do it. Huh? How do I do that? I bet you were supposed to blow into the fucking microphone on the DS. Yeah. But now you just with the X button. Yeah. <laughs> Exciting, I know. Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. Yep. See? Wow, that looks like fun. It might take some getting used to, though. It's fine. It won't go up your nose or anything. Unlike the other thing. <laughs> you just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Wright. I guess I better give it a try. Get it all. So Thanks. much cocaine. Yeah. Everywhere. All that cocaine. Does not make me an effective cocaine salesman. You did it! You found one! But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm, now that you mention it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. I think it means they were wearing gloves. Yes. Out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Hey, calm down. That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem a shame. While we're at it, why don't we look at look for other prints? Other prints? Looking at the locker door again closely. No. Oh. It seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Huh. Fingerprints outside the blood. 
looking right for the old there. trick prints. Right, kind of looks like a dick just sprouting up to say hi. How's it going? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fine morning. How do you do, sir? <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, now you're just dumping something else on there. I see. Yeah. From your dick. Make it white. Make it rain. Yeah. All up in my burn. Yeah. And by the way, I'm Whoa! Perfect! Yeah. Uh, do I, do I need to dust more? Is it just like, yeah, you didn't dust enough? There we go. Okay. Yay! Yeah. A print so clear, it's dazzling! Yeah, so at the top and at the bottom, some of the print was kind of fuzzy, which would have been fine. But then it's like, no, you need it to be all the way done. So. It's probably like Gumshoe's print, man. It's his locker. Yeah, probably. And dazzling. Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Yeah, you can tell by how sweaty we are. So much effort. My god. How do please people manage? I agree. Let's match it up right away. So, we're not done yet. This is quite a process. I think that as a defense attorney, you should know how fingerprinting works, Phoenix. Yeah, this is unusual. I also have to defend against it, because it's not the best thing. <laughs> well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint. And not knowing who the owner is, right? I... I guess she's right. I mean, we found a fingerprint. We know who did it. We could just say it's his. So then what we do, right, is we go to every person we've met and we hand them our attorney's badge. Right. And then they, they look at it, and we take it back, and then we dust it for prints. And then, like, clean it off in the sink. Yeah, that'd probably work. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth. And point out the person you think left these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to know who it was? I could make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means that the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So whose fingerprints would we most likely find on the evidence locker? Edgeworth. Oh, okay. And then you just kind of scroll through. And, oh, hey, look. And it's an oh, yeah, I meant match. Gumshoe. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Comparison complete. Match found. Aha! So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this, so what? I'm still the rock star. Look. <laughs> I guess that's probably because I was thinking, so what? I'm still a rock star. Yeah, I got my rock moves. Yeah. Okay, so we came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. Sometimes you hit 21. Yeah, I guess... Never miss, huh? Blackjack. Yeah, yeah, I guess they never miss, huh? Yeah. Gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Bright. Thanks for the sympathy. And the metaphors. <laughs> Wait. If I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. I agree. Yeah, it's kind of important. And we got a slide... Nope. Slide. And then... Big thing. Oh, sorry. Right, there is a handprint here. Okay, wanna try using this aluminium? <laughs> there go her eyes, sparkling again. Okay, let's check for prints. That's the spirit. No, no. Turn Finger on purple prints. rain. <laughs> Fingerprints. <laughs> oh, but I have to warn you about something first. What? The area with the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh, right. So that means no prints. Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high, Blazer? D don't ask me. Don't ask questions. Anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Whoa. Yeah. So let's try, I guess, there. Yeah. No? Not gonna let me do it? What about on the inside of the locker? 
Yeah, it's not letting me dust anything because it's all been wiped away. Uh, can we dust for something that's like on the thing? Because, I mean, this locker. Can, can we. No? Not gonna do a thing? Like, I wonder if it's just not specifically the parts that were that were highlighted blue. Like, the parts where the other fingers would be. Well, that's what I was trying to do. Yes, we know! God damn, game. And now it likes it for some reason. What the fuck ever. This game can be pretty annoying sometimes. Dude, we got so much fucking aluminium. Yeah. Afterwards, we're just gonna sell it all to uh, Pringles. Gonna sell all the aluminum to Pringles? Yeah. They need it for their cans. They were originally gonna make tennis balls. But then a truck of potatoes came up and Pringles was laid back up and he said, Fuck it! Cut them up! <laughs> Naturally. That, that's how they do. Mitch Hedberg is a perfect man. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, let's match this up to somebody. Oh, hey, look, it's Jake Marshall. What a surprise. Hey, surprise, motherfucker. I think that's him, right? Looks good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Just to make sure. No, that's too different. Yeah. Yeah, it's him. Look at all the points. And oh, hey, look, it's spray. Yeah. Okay. The vaginal at the bottom. Makes yeah. It, makes it clear. Hey, these fingerprints. They. <sighs> Whose are they? Whose? Is it someone I know? Is it me? It's Officer Marshall. Oh. Huh? Uh, Officer Jake McCree? Anyways, add it to the court record. Uh, d -d 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 print has been wiped. That, that's gotta be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Emma. This is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. The luminol reaction. The blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh. Oh! So, we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints. On a wiped blood stain, where he comes off shaving with that dumb fucking knife. Yeah. What happens? You <laughs> he used a machete to cut a beard. <laughs> so why would... Officer Marshall. It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. Huh? I guess it's this. Bleh, I guess it's what you would call decisive evidence. You gotta marshal yourself there, Phoenix. Calm down. Yeah. I I don't believe it. Believe to it. be continued. The perfect ending. Yeah. Good times. Let's, uh, let's save. It's just in time, too. Look how fucking professional we are. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's like we do this for a living. Holy shit. We do not. Anyways, we should probably, uh, do shout out. So this is day three, so this should be the final day, right? If we're going based off of their own system. Yeah. So. I wonder if we'll get in. We might, we might have a couple episodes left total. But, um. Let's do shout outs. Yes. So I'm going to do a shout out to a game, a card game, uh, made by the guys who make Cyanide and Happiness from Explosive. Um, and it's called Joking Hazard. And this is a game where uh, you've got to basically finish a comic strip. So, like, if you've ever seen Cyanide and Happiness, which I'm sure you have, it's these little almost kind of stick figure esque guys who, like, have all these kind of shenanigans that happen in the comics. And basically, you got uh, one of those guys with a blue shirt, one of those guys with a green shirt, and they're interacting. And you basically you put down a card from the deck, and then you pick a second card from your own hand, and then the other players have to add a third card to end the comic. Um, and it is hilarious. I play it with my parents and my sister and my brother-in-law all the time. Yes, it's, your sister's really good at it. It's the business. I cleaned house the other day. I destroyed them. Um... We've also got some uh, expansion decks called Toking Hazard, which is mostly weed-themed, and uh, Stroking Hazard, which is mostly sex-themed. Yes. Um, and it's 
hilarious. Uh, we have a great time with that game. It's you know, we used to we started with like apples to apples when I was a kid, and then we moved on to Cards Against Humanity, and then now like it's either Cards Against Humanity or Joking Hazard. I kind of prefer Joking Hazard in general, but I like both of them quite a bit. It's really fun. The, the things that you have to explain to your mother are uh, sometimes really awkward and hilarious. So that's fun. Yeah, it was great. You know, after Thanksgiving, you're just all sitting around being lazy. You're playing this card game, and you have to explain to your mom what bukake is. Uh, it's happened a couple times. She yeah. keeps forgetting. Um. <laughs> <laughs> just tell her, like, look, participate once. You'll never forget. No. I'm not going to say that. All right, fine. Be anyway, it. I really like Joking Hazard. I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, so my shout out is going to go towards a book that I recently got. It's called Steel Metallurgy by uh, Dr. Mandel. <laughs> now, it's SK Mandel. Yeah. But he would on the thing seriously Kevin Mandel cuz he's like, "Oh yeah, I wrote that. I know all about metallurgy." It's yeah, like, "No, I no, wrote the don't. book." It's at some point the joke gets kind of just like, "Oh, yay. Okay. Sure, you know about metallurgy, but he don't." It's a good recurring joke. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I like it. If you say so. So, yeah. It's just a good little primer into steel metallurgy. It came highly recommended online. I never got to read it in school because they had some other professor's book, and that one sucked and was very poorly written, and the, all the problems were awful. But this one seems really good. I've, I've been going through it, and I like it a lot. So I wanted to do a shout-out to it. Yes. Okay, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much, guys. Goodbye. Bye.